Hello and welcome to Talking Yanks. It's another player profile and projection brought to you by DraftKings. And we are talking about Papa Do, Miguel Andujar. 2018 Rookie of the Year, runner-up, missed a lot of 19 and a lot of 20, and hasn't hit well since that 2018 season. Hasn't been given a lot of chances to, Jake. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm hoping I'm hoping to stumble into some things I like for Mickey. Okay. Because, man, that 2018 has some of the fondest memories. I mean... 2018? For Andujar. Oh, okay. okay, okay. We're talking about Miguel Andujar. Yeah. Uh, the guy was an extra base machine. Mm-hmm. 76 extra base hits uh, as a rookie. And so, if you remember, every day they were doing, you know, all-time rookie extra base hits. And it felt like he was hitting a ball in the gap every day. It's a lot of fun. The defense was suspect at best. They were hoping he'd grow into it. Came back the next spring training saying he worked on it and he did the same stuff, and that was very frustrating. Bad wrist injury, bada bing, bada boom. We have not seen a lot of Miguel Andujar. And, uh, you know, interesting how quickly a career path in baseball can change. You're the young upstart Third baseman for the Yankees. You remember going back to 2017? He had that one game where he had a few hits, so everyone was screaming for Andujar. Mm-hmm. Call up Andujar. And then uh, Brandon Drury gets hurt. Andujar's up, and it was a lot of fun. He was a lot of fun. He was day in, day out, one of, if not the best Yankee hitters that year. And here we are in 2020, 2021, actually. So good that's correction. Huge. Um, yeah, it's funny. We talked to some people that are um, part of parts of other organizations, um, like front offices of other organizations, or definitely talk to the front offices of, of other organizations. And uh, we we're wondering, like, you know, because there's always Andujar rumors with with teams, and we're like, you know, was any of this true? And their and their response, I think, was that dude hasn't hit above. 200 in two years and doesn't have a position. No one is answering Cashman's calls. And then I was like, oh man, that's a really grim outlook because he didn't get a lot of playing time. He came back from injury. So like the, the batting, the, the, the offensive statistics, I think are a little unfair. Like I, I think if Andy were a full season hitting, like he would be a uh, offensive th- weapon again. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, some people just look at it like that. And the defense is very real. He does not have a position. And he's still throwing the ball the same way at third today, like right now. It's still uh, the double tap and the the sidewind are, are still present. What what he said and he was asked to, like, work on and change in 2019 is, is still the way he f- throws the ball. So, I don't know. Like the eye test, like nothing's changing defensively. Like it's not even like a glaring difference in approach. So I have no idea how he's going to win over the third base job. The biggest thing offensively, and I think he can get a lot of that bat, a lot of hits, and be that same guy with the bat. But he needs to play every day, and that's what Boone even said. Like this guy just needs everyday reps. He hasn't had any since 2018, or the very, very start of 2019 before he got injured. But I think he got injured. Really quick. 12 games. And he, and then he came back and played like seven yeah. on injury. So he got injured in the first like week of that season. So for me, it's a no-brainer. He's starting at AAA. He just needs to get everyday reps. And I'm very interested to see where they play him in AAA because I think they should just make him an outfielder. They, I mean, if you're going to play every day, like what there, I don't think there's any benefit – to having Andujar play every day in AAA and do like one game at third base, then the next at left field, then the next at first base, then third base. Like he's never going to get good at any of them that way. Yeah. So I think they should just make him an outfielder. He's actually looked decent in left field on some balls. Yeah. Like he, he actually like has tracked some down okay. He was playing there in what? Lightum? And he, yeah. he looked he looked okay there. Yeah, I mean this uh 
this spring. He's we've currently seen him a little bit at third. Um, looks like Miguel Andujar for sure. Uh, not the finest of compliments. Yeah, man, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're going to do with him defensively. I don't know if they start giving him some run at first base. You know, we were joking about the versatile Miguel Andujar last year. I do that. Year. I do left field, first base. I do third as my last one. Yeah. You just, you, you we know too much of what he can offer there, and he hasn't changed yeah. the problem. So, like, all right, let's just start somewhere else. It's not like he's going to get worse at third if he... Gets all these reps down there And they ultimately decide to put him back Yeah like, he's, You know what you're getting at third He kind of is what he is And you know at the same time that year When Andujar was at third base Remember they were subbing him out for D, or for CC starts Because CC was putting the ball over there So Neil Walker was just going over there and playing third And he never really played third Disco Neil Walker and he's a stud So not a great comparison uh, Yeah so I, I don't know It'll be interesting if, if Gio Were to get hurt at some point this year be fascinating to see if what the Yankees do. Uh, do they call up Miggy, and does he get the majority of the starts at third, and DJ's at second? Does DJ go to third and Tyler Wade, Tyro figure it out at second? Uh, is Andujar even the call if Gio gets hurt? Uh, and that's that shows how far we've come. That you know that special year he had in 2018. A, he's got to build that back up. Um, whether it's the rest of this spring training, whether it's you know minor league baseball offsite, we we don't see these guys off the field and and what it looks like. Like the dudes, no. If Miguel Andujar looks like the helicopter, Miguel Andujar, seventy five plus extra base hits, the Yankees coaches will know that. The other hitters on the team are going to know that. Um, I called for him for a brief stretch last year when the Yankees were sliding, and he actually got hot for a little bit. But, man, he doesn't have a position right now. I think he said he was getting rid of his helicopter swing, too, which was kind of odd to me because I don't think anyone was, like, saying it was bad. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I I had read that he was eliminating it. He said he was going to eliminate the helicopter finish. I mean, he's finishing with two hands in the bat. A lot of people believe in that. But uh, this, I was like, kind of. That's, like, that's what you're going to change? Um, the hitting's great, to, man. I still believe stuff. in the hitting, like. The bad offensive hitting stats I don't think are uh, come from being uh, losing any skill hitting or any of that. I, I He played in 12 games in 2019, and when he came back from injury, like he didn't even see April. So, okay, in 2019, he played three games in March, got hurt, came back in May when he was trying to avoid surgery. Clearly needed surgery. He just wasn't the same dude. And then last year, as Jake stated, when he was getting – off the bench, not everyday run, you know, it wasn't really there for him. But once he's got starts, on April 26th, they started using him more regularly. And from April 26th until they sent him down on September 13th, he had a 317 batting average with an 837 OPS in uh, 13 games. So I very much think if Stan gets hurt, Call up Andy Warren, just plug him at DH for five out of seven games, and I think he will rake. Yeah. But hopefully Stanton doesn't get hurt, and that kind of eliminates Andy Warren's ability to be somewhere. Right, and that's, I mean, a lot of, <laughs> there's not a lot of teams in baseball that have a guy that's, oh, if our DH gets hurt, this guy should come up and rake. <laughs> like, that's that's kind of the weird thing with Miguel Andujar here. So, it's going to be interesting to track. I mean, he's... As we talk, he's currently had a slow spring. You'd like to see him pick it up and and believe in that because I think we still don't know what's fully going on with AAA, right? Um, I mean, I know I think it's start starting late. Mm. Yeah, so I think he'll stay. He'll go to minor camp. They have the off season site. Yeah, they have the off season site with like the extended camp where some people go, but also like. But I think the like lower levels are like. Starting on time, like it's the triple A that's delayed, but yeah, they so could send him. They could go to double A. Could send him to double A. So that'll be interesting to track. That'll be interesting to track. I mean, I guess he was at the alt side, and let's not forget, uh, part of the reason he wasn't on the Yankees playoff roster was, I mean, it was service time manipulation. We found that out. Yeah, they sent him back down. He was a log jam at all the positions and stuff, but I mean. He, Ford wasn't hitting and Andujar was And it was service time manipulation At that time Andujar deserved to be on the team So 
It's going to be interesting to track, man. Uh, again, the injuries are going to dictate a lot of this. Um, and <laughs> if you go th- through the past couple Yankee seasons and how quickly they added up, in Cressy we trust, and we're good now. But uh, if you go back and remember how early they are, including Miguel Andujar's and some of the others we've seen, the dude could find his way into the lineup and hitting baseballs really quickly. And- Jory was out in the first two weeks, right? Like yeah. Andujar came up on day five, and then the next year he left on day three. So so now he's going to come up on day five again. I would love to watch him get MLB at bats again and believe in Miguel Andujar's bat again. Because mm-hmm. we both believe the talent's still there, but you do have to see it. Mm-hmm. That was 2018. That was mm-hmm. a couple moons ago. It was a wrist injury, and that's an injury that sucks for a hitter. Yeah. Not rocket science, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Would love to see him hit again, so at least if there are trade rumors or if we need him throughout this season, we can believe in it because right now if there's a trade rumor with Miguel Andujar, it's fake. Because yeah. no, we they know he can't play defense and they're not sure he can hit. That's a bad person to add to a trade. And Miguel Andujar can hit and look like that 2018 dude. Hell, there's about half the American League teams – that could use him just as a DH. And if that's it, fine. Become the next generation's doubles hitting Edwin Encarnacion. Find yourself a couple starts in left field and first base and kind of find your role. Right now, he's log jammed. Let's find out if you can hit again. And the defense, yuggity boogity. What is Max's over under for Anduha? It's a fun one. Okay. Um, over under four and a half starts at third base this season. <laughs> over. Weird shit happens. Yeah, it's over. I mean, if if Gio has one IL stint, not even a bad one, I think the Yanks would throw him out there. In a platoon or, or Even rotation. if it's just as before the trade deadline, see what we got. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll take over. Um, yeah, I'll take I'll take the over on that. If... um. And Gio's had a couple nicks and bumps, like you know. I think he has he had like one IL stint each year. He had the one last year. Yeah, maybe I don't know. He had the elbow. The if elbow it's thing. uh, so let's pretend it's mid-April or May one, and Gio goes down. He's got a he bumped into his shin. He'll be back. It's a bad bruise, so spider bite. Two on that shin injury. Shit. Gio's having a tough time. But he's going to take an IL stint. I feel bad for him. Is Anduhar the call? Yeah, it's Anduhar Tyro. And it it depends on... It depends on... A couple things. If there's any more service time manipulation that can happen. Right. That's why I tried to make it May 1st. I tried to get it. Oh, but still, I yeah, mean, yeah, last yeah. time it was, who knows? It depends on, um, you know, I would guess there's a question with DJ. Hey, would you want to slide over to third for a little bit, or are you cemented at second? I think they give DJ, let him have his say. Okay. Just gave him $90 million. He's a leader on the team. I think, you know, and depends on if DJ says, I'll go to third for a little bit, then I think you bring Tyra up because then you're way more versatile all around. You can still move the infield all around. Um. Or or and like you know yeah there's still like a lot of mobility there. Okay. If not, then you bring Andrew Harp and sign. It also depends on how he looks in Triple A. Yeah. Because the main thing is they want him to get everyday at bats. Right. So has he gotten everyday at bats? Does he look crazy hot? Then yeah, then it's him. But I don't know. If Stanton gets hurt, is Andrew Harp the call? Yeah. Okay. So that's the only like no brainer, no brainer. I think so. Okay. Don't you? Th- I mean, I th- I think it'd be. I have no idea with Gio. I have no idea if they'd be like, "Yep, Miguel, it's your time. Let's find out." But with Andrew, but with Stan, you think it's Andrew? Yeah, or, yeah. I think it's yeah. Andrew. I think if Stan carries Andrew, it's the call. I guess, um, I guess like a counter would kind of be like, how much do you think like Jay Bruce and Dietrich in spring training? Like if they make the team, like I don't think it around. guarantees Andrew Har every start. I said five of seven last time, maybe four of yeah. seven. Like maybe he rotates with Bruce. Um, 
righty yeah. lefty type thing. As for I guess you did preface it with like this is May. So yeah, whatever. And it it does depend how guys are looking. Happen. You know, if if Jay Bruce is hitting three fifty and every time he yeah. comes in he finds the porch, then yeah, let's find that out. Um, yeah. yeah, I if, just if I Stanton like gets hurt tomorrow. It's probably just Jay Bruce officially makes the team. Jay Bruce and Newhart Platoon could be yeah. fun. I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, man. I the Geo thing. I I genuinely don't know. And in my head, it's a no. But I also now that I'm thinking about trade deadline slash Yankees playing 162 and not necessarily playoffs. I think there's a part of them that would want to find out. Yeah. Um, and then you can almost do it. Uh, you know, the cold days. You start Andoire at third. Ball's not going there a lot. Tyone starts punching people out. Who's our ground ball pitchers anymore? Monty. Yeah, Monty. That's all. Right? Kind of. I'd have to check the numbers on like if Davies getting starts and stuff like that, but uh, but Herman, strikeout guy, Tyone should kind of a strikeout guy. Cole strikeout guy, Kluber strikeout guy. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to see Kluber's numbers more too. Yeah, I don't really know that either. I guess because I don't. But he did. K he, a lot gets, of he gets he enough strikeouts, career, but I don't be. know if he's fly balls or ground balls yeah. or whatever. Interesting. Ken's All right, not really factoring into the rotation, but he's a ground ball guy. Yeah. yeah. So if he gets a start that day, <laughs> Mike, it won't be Mike an King. Anduhar start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't look. Call. Mike King and Anduhar not friends. They might be playing with each other in AAA to start the year, or Double A wherever it goes, or alternative site. All right. Uh, real quick. Uh, baseball reference with 66% reliability. Wow. <clears throat> they have him getting 293 plate appearances, which is around 70 games with 72 hits, uh, 267 batting average, 315 on base percentage, 771 OPS. If he gets 70 games, I think those numbers will tick up a little bit. Yeah, we believe in him as a hitter. Yeah. 11 home runs. Yeah. If, they, I, uh... if, they, if he gets 70 games, I, I still believe him at his bat. Yeah, let me. He just he just needs a month at AAA to before like I hope he gets a full month right. wherever he is AA AAA alternative site and gets like every day you get four at bats against MLB quality pitching and just like gets that before the injury or the roster move has to happen. Yeah. No, and I hey, uh, just we've been doing this a lot almost to remind ourselves, but going back to 2019, the last full season, um, and obviously a lot's changed since then, but like Edwin Encarnacion had 197 plate appearances in 44 games for the Yankees. Um, I'm trying to see who else played it. Mike Ford ended up playing 50 games that year. Kendry Morales played 19. So we're going to need bodies this year, yeah. and there's going to be a time when Andujar gets called on, and I, I hope for us and I hope for him that when he does – he looks like at least Miguel Anduhar from 2018 at the dish. Agreed. Wish you would have tried to change his throwing motion. Take the shot.